we gotta put air in it because this truck won't run. So we gotta air the brake system up. Make so it can roll. All right, so this truck's been broke down for like two weeks now and it's really becoming a pain. This is a N14 Cummins 98, so it's semi-mechanical, but still kind of electric. And the problems I'm having, when you plug the block heater in, it's blowing the breaker and it's definitely on the truck side. So I have to replace that. Also, this is what it does when you turn it over. I put three batteries in it. That's all it does. And I had my Mac with three brand new batteries connected right to the starter, two jump packs, and a starter box. And this still does the same thing. So maybe a ground wire, a bad starter, could be a few different things. Start by testing these batteries. Not the best tester in the world, but let's see. So this is the plus side. That battery is good. Yep. That battery is good. All right. So all three batteries are good. So now we have to check the grounds. That's the ground wire, right? Yeah, the one on the, towards the engine. This one? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so we have one end on the starter on the ground side. We have one end on the frame. We got another ground to the engine. And we're going to put this ground somewhere. To the frame down there. Try that. So that's ground 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 to the engine and ground side of the starter let's see if it turns over better now question is what volts are the batteries at right now though are they down from trying 11.8 volts what is it supposed to be 14.6. So we're low, we're, the batteries are low. They're not bad, but they're low. Start and, yeah. Whoa. So, why is it doing that? Oh. Oh, you got them, start. All right, let me try it.
So we got one wire there. Another wire, yeah, these are definitely need to be cleaned. All right, everything's clean on here, and the ground's clean. Let's see if this thing turns over better. All right, so the truck still isn't turning over good. All right, time to change the starter. Here's the new one right there. All right, so I have these wires off. I used the yellow zip tie for the negative and I used the green one for the positive, at least most of them. But at least this will keep it out of the way. So I just got to pop the one white wire off the solenoid and I probably have another one on the bottom. You're going to lose it. Mm -hmm. Is it heavy? No, it's light. Light as can be. Watch out. Oh, what? Hold on. I can almost slide it out to oh, me. Oh, there's a wire stuck here. Where? Push on the back of it. One that I forgot to take off? No, it's just stuck. Right. Wire. Watch out. There it is, it's out. That's how you take a starter out. You want a marker? <laughs> If you guys take your old starter out and you're gonna use these new style starters, make sure you put the spacer on. So if you have a spacer on this, you need a spacer on that. If you don't on this, then you don't on that. But made a mistake before and it sounded like the motor was blown up. These wires gotta be tangled. Oh. Wait, that's better. What's going on? It's so heavy by tying it up there. Here, I'm just tired. I know, it's just I'm fighting with these cables. Which ones? Wait, I think I got them out of the way now. I just can't get that up. I gotta try to, I gotta try to twist this. We got, hold on, hold on. This fighting with the wires. Go forward, go forward. This hose back here had you. What am I stuck on now? Nothing, keep going. Why? I'm in. Can right, you, hold on. you're in the right spot, right, to get wires on? It looks exact. Yeah, you're in the right spot. You just gotta get your bolt in. The second reach in here, help me hold it. I got the back side of it. The helping? What happened? Now the plate's just stuck. Really? Want a hammer? I had that, yeah. I had that thing perfect. The bowl was already started and I felt I. Here. Got it? Yep. Maybe it's. Maybe I can twist the plate now. I don't know. All right. Got it. Good, 
that. That might be a little cross threading action going on. This is why you have to get the coffee, you're going to top on it now. I don't have enough power to put this in. That's how you make new threads. All right, so I got all the wires back on. All right, all batteries are hooked back up. I'm gonna go try to crank it over. See what it does. For the truth, let's see what happens. Lights are bright. Batteries are probably good. Got nada. Nothing. I didn't hook something up. All right, the problem I'm having, so I have juice to the positive side from the battery. I have juice to this side of the solenoid right there. No juice here, and when my buddy cranks the key, nothing happens. Glenn, turn the key. Yeah. We have no power to this wire here, so that's why it's not turning over at this point. Oh, what's back here? I hear something clicking back here. So we're still getting nothing with the key. I'm going to check behind this panel. I think there's a relay that was set up like one of my other trucks. Wash, high speed, low speed wiper, flash. Lift the dim horn down here. I bet one of these. Go ahead and do it. Does it make a noise? Oh, wait. Uh, exhaust. Oh, uh, um, air conditioning, which it doesn't have. Heated mirrors. So I'm going to make up my wire out here for the push button. This wire, I'm going to feed this down somewhere. Here's the old wire, it doesn't work anymore. Here's the new one. Yeah. So we got that piece and then now we gotta go from the switch. So let me find the end. Something like that, what do you think? That should work out good. Could probably use a smaller wire to jump this. Actually, I could I could really just put this thing in. Alright, that goes in there. Uh, just go in there. Right. And this thing clips to this key switch. 
Like this. That side's on there. Key switch has to go back in here. Kill this on quick here. Okay, it works. It's a good sign it works. All right, let me get all this tightened up and let's see if this thing runs. Let's go ahead and crank this thing, see if it does anything. nice about this it's just a normal cord it's not the 20 amp first thing I want to do this is where that heating element goes I just popped the cover off inside the truck so this is a pretty easy job at least this is um, so we got to pop the wire off unbolt everything There's a problem. Right there. See, it's broke. how that one came out. The plug's in a different spot now. Something wrong. It's not lining up. I do not want to take this back off. That kind of sucks. Center bolts are not lining up. I think that's how it's supposed to go. Fingers crossed this one lines up. Yep. You guys are buying the 50-50 mix of this uh, antifreeze, you guys are nuts. Because I'm getting, for the same price, I get two gallons out of this one. 
and it only takes a minute to mix so and it's got some clean water here and I believe this one is at half yeah so that's half antifreeze so I just put my water water's free so Might as well check the oil quick here. Let's see what. Oh, that's good. Well, I guess we need to add oil to this right now. I'm gonna get out of this. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about tightening this belt here because do I have to unloosen all this stuff up here? I'm not really getting anything out of it. And these are pretty uh, seized in there. For some reason we have no light on this transmission load. Nothing's working, so I gotta figure this out now. No fuses in there. Plugs into the bottom. It goes to the transmission, maybe. All right, so after fishing around, tracing wires and everything else, just so you guys know if you have one of these, well, two things. One thing is make sure you really double check all your wires when you take the starters out because there's so many wires going to these bigger starters. Uh, I had a black wire on the negative side that should have been on the positive side. So there is one for the transmission that goes to the starter. So if you don't have that one on there, it will not, the shifter will not light up. You'll be going nuts. So, just so you guys know, there is a wire that goes to the positive side from the shifter to uh, that goes on the starter bolt. That's right there. So, other than that, I mean, I got the new element in. That heated the motor up. That worked well. And we got the antifreeze up to where it should be. And the new starter's in, the truck turns over faster. So that starter was going bad for a while. Let's have this up and going again, you know? But, alright guys, I'll catch you on the next one.